Hello everybody, I'm Serta and welcome back to Planet Crafter 1.0. Well, this uh done a little bit of stuff between episodes, not a heck of a lot. Um, I think we should be pretty close to getting ourselves some farms. So we'll be preparing for that. I, I have already started with this area out here. But before I continue, just thank you very much for all the support. All the new subscribers, thank you very much for all the likes and comments. It really helps the channel. And I'm glad you guys are enjoying this. So let's get stuck in. I made some bees, added some, oh, uncommon, uh, added some beehives. So we've got three more beehives. That's boosted things a little bit, but it's also producing more honey so that we can make more food and stuff. And uh, let's go and see where we are. We, we should be pretty close, like, uh 1.49 tons and we are waiting for uh gosh where is it uh, 1.5 tons so extremely close that'll be unlocking soon i have continued doing stuff downstairs i've prepared a few bees because i know that we need bees for for the farms uh i've got a few other things prepared as well because i couldn't remember if we're actually using them uh there's a couple of bees i'm going to need more so what did i leave in here i didn't research right so that'll be a couple more bees there's a bee i'll go and get some more stuff we'll we'll make farms we'll make lots of farms right now the important stuff is everything that i need the food food is not really a big deal i mean i don't have any beans at the moment because uh, it's all been sucked into this machine that's made me a whole bunch of high quality food okay thank you for that so right i have actually changed my mind about the position of the uh the auto crafter for fabric so i'm going to just clear this off you can do that by clicking on this block and then it clears the recipe i'm going to grab this fabric out of here and uh, we'll leave this one empty for now uh, there's not going to be anything going into sock just yet i'm going to change the last machine in this row to fabric but first i'm just going to put all of this in so i don't create a whole bunch more and there's the outdoor farms ho 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 fabric good outdoor farms right farms so we need two bees a water t1 fertilizer t2 fertilizer super alloy got t1 fertilizer i'll grab two t2 fertilizer i've only got two but i think i might have some downstairs super alloy i'll grab out of my overflow because i had some had some storms and uh, i have an abundance of super alloy right now and that also means that i have quite a few super alloy rods so that's going to be handy I need some water and oh, one more bee. And there's going to be a few of these. So there's our bee. Right, so I'm really going to have to plan how this all fits together. I can't remember exactly how I had it. But I think the first one goes over here. And I will just get the corner onto the corner right there. And then the next one next to it right there that's about as lined up as i'm happy to get and then i'll leave a space and there'll be two more over here and then another space and two more for the wheat and cocoa which will come later and then uh yeah this this will be probably beans then eggplant over here and we'll do the squash and the mushrooms so yeah it'll be six rows we don't really need a lot of beans so yeah that's a shorter distance so that's fine Right, you don't really need anything else. You just need the seeds. So I'll put a bean seed in there and we'll put an eggplant seed in there. And then these will grow. And there'll be a few of them in each. So it's not like the, the normal food growers, which uh, are still going inside this container, which has got to get taken down sometime. Uh, one other thing that we did unlock was the ability to make uh, osmium rods. Now, osmium rods are going to be important because you need them for T3 miners. So, um, let's just have a look at how close we are. Okay, 3.18, we are heading slowly towards T3 miners. Uh, it looks like it's going to be a little while. Uh, it looks like we're going to get fusion cells first and quite possibly also the drone stations, which will make things even easier. But perhaps with my abundance of super alloy, I can maybe put together another drill just to speed that up just a little bit more while we wait for the the biggest stuff and the fuses because we haven't had a pressure fuse yet 
And that means that I must most likely go and have a look at a couple more wrecks. So, um, another T4 draw. That brings the number to eight. And I really do need to take down these tier threes, but I want the pressure, even if it's just a little bit. Everything helps. Those trees. All right, well, we're doing okay on pressure. It's, it's a little slow, but we're doing okay. Everything under heat is already done, so I don't need to push that as much anymore. Obviously, I, I'm going to have to push it at some point, but uh, we don't we don't need to use the resources on that right now. We can use that later to to boost the final terraforming. Oxygen is doing just fine. It will get to the life water collector. I'm not in a rush for that because there are other things that happen between now and then. Although we are doing extremely well on oxygen, and I'm getting hungry. I'm just grabbing some fertilizer and some mutagen and a couple of lava and then we are going to make some more bees so that's that one in and then research that one and it is going yep all right perfect yeah sometimes uh, if you close it too quickly it actually doesn't continue the research but you can see research is going by the little colorful green and yellow bubbles floating around in here let's head out to a wreck um i did collect i did collect a few uh, uh, circuit boards from the ring and from this one i don't think i've been to the desert wreck yet and i haven't been to the one at the back of the labyrinth so i'll have to come back for the circuit boards on those but there's a wreck behind the waterfall that i would like to go and get into now when i say behind the waterfall i don't mean the little cave that we went to i meant around, i mean around the back of the waterfall uh, it's uh it's a fairly big wreck some interesting stuff in there. Have I checked this chest? I haven't. Mm hmm. Okay. Mine now. Yeah, there, there are a few chests uh, scattered around this area, which we will... There's another one up there. We'll run into them, and I'm going to end up filling myself up before I've even got to the wreck. Oof. That's uh, also good. Uh, I can maybe lose the seeds. So I did think... Um, oh, wait a minute. The west? Oh, yeah. I think that is a new biome. Okay, so that is the beach. The water hasn't come in yet. But this looks like a new biome that we're going to have to go and check out at some point. That's interesting. So that's the third one. That's So we've now seen... Well, I've seen all the biomes. Still a couple that we can go and have a look at here, but... Okay, so that's another biome. And the way it's structured looks like it also has waterfalls... Because it's going into what would be water over here. Interesting. Anyway, there's the wreck that we're going to go and check out. But hey, on the way there, I'm really going to fill up my storage. We dive into this pond and we head underneath the water. Now this is right next to the waterfall. And we head underneath here. There's a golden chest. And I'm going to take that and that and that. No, not that. In fact, not that either. I'm going to always come, we are going to come back for the golden chests. And the location for that is basically right next to the waterfall. On the western side of the waterfall. And if you want a little heads up, there's two little trees at the top of that. Right in between them, there's another golden chest that we will go and get at some point. Alright, so I'm going to go in here. And the reason I'm going in here is I'm looking for fuses. F, there we go. Torches on. Alright, we'll look in this little area first. Yeah, nothing major. I could use the osmium and uh, probably going to end up coming back here at some point. And then we can head down this very long passage and uh, you'll see two rooms. They basically mirrors of each other. Fusion energy cells. Damn. Okay, I'm going to need those. Going to head down to the end and we'll come along this side and... There's a chest that we probably don't need because it's got a chip in it that we've already finished. And here's our first terror tokens. We got a hundred. I do want those things. Those are nice. And there's a server that I can grab anymore. Come across this way. More servers. And there's a fusion reactor. And there's more servers. Oh dear, I'm full. I just dropped a whole bunch of very important things on the ground. And now I can't pick it up. Oh no, man. Okay, I got one. Let's see what else I can toss. I'm going to have to head back. Like, 
right now anyway. So I think the circuit boards for me, the circuit boards for me right now are more important than uranium rods. So I'm going to drop those. At least I know where there are some. Okay, got those circuit boards. So we can't really collect anything else. Uh, although there is some very good stuff and there are two large rooms that I haven't even checked yet. So I'm, yeah, I haven't built a storage container or an outpost over here. I'm thinking maybe I should, yeah, I think maybe when I come back, I'll bring a, I'll bring a bit of material with me to do that. But in the meantime, I'm just going to head back. All right, so I did pick up my first 100 terror tokens, which means that I have a little bit of a balance. Oh, wait, I haven't. Okay, so in order to get these, you need to actually right click on them. And then when I go back in, now I have 100 terror, terror tokens balance. And it's not need enough to buy me anything right now, but hey, it's good. Let's see what we need for that fusion cell. Okay, this is where we need a lot of pulsar. Pulsar can't be mined unless someone else knows something that I don't. But uh, we're going to need to make the wreck that we're busy exploring now in the waterfall biome. Uh, that takes three of these. So quite a lot. And that will open doors. So I'm just going to offload what I have on me. Get some more farms going. And I just figured out that I am out of sulfur. So I'm going to shoot out to the sulfur area. Grab a bit of water on the way there. And just go and pick up what sulfur I can get. But I did build a, a second... Uh, ore extractor out here because I really needed it and this is one place I didn't put a shredder I'm gonna leave some no actually you know what I think I have a shredder in the osmium cave I think I get rid of the trash oh wow. storms are a strange color in this area oh it's a storm of some kind no idea right I'm just gonna get rid of the stuff that I really don't need right now so we'll leave that there how are we doing over here? All right, I could take those. Get rid of a bit more stuff. Now, I feel a little bad getting rid of silicon because now, silicon's pretty good. Ah, right, jeepers. Now, I'm not going to have enough space for the for the sulfur that I actually came out here for. Anyway, I'll make a plan. I hear big bangs going on, but I have no idea what they are. I can come back for iron. That'll do for now. And it'll get us at least a few fertilizers. Right, I'm pretty sure I heard a bell and I wasn't concentrating, so I don't know what I missed. Uh, let's go and have a look. Okay, so we've got that. I know about that. Uh, still got a way to go before we're there. This has... Uh, not so far, actually. Although I'm going to have to pump things up a bit to keep things keep everything moving. But yeah, not, not so far. Under the bio... Maybe it was this one that unlocked at uh, 2 kilotons. The Luix butterfly lava. Okay fine not a big deal right now sulfur and things start moving upstairs excellent pop that in there good we've got some good stuff we're gonna have to automate the osmium rods i do have a i do have a couple yeah i've got a few that i've picked up but uh, i'm gonna have to automate them because we are gonna need quite a few of them but it would probably be better to automate once i have the tier three extractor i don't know um i might as well get things set up I'll get around to it. Maybe I'll just pop some more miners and an autocrafter in there in between episodes. Right now, farms. Farms and bees. Okay, good. We got bees. We got bees. And I didn't bring lava, but I have uh, one there. And a whole bunch over here. Okay, that's going. And this is now also going. Yep, there we go. So I've got enough to build one farm. I'm just waiting for those two bees before I can build another. Right. Same story. I'm going to put this uh, corner in right there. Good. Good. And in this one, we'll go the squash. Look, more uncommon. Wow, there's a lot of uncommon lovers around here. Crazy, man. Okay, I think I have everything for the fourth farm. And we'll just slap it in. Oh. Come on. There. Yeah, that's pretty straight. And then we will throw the mushroom in here. So good, we've got everything growing in here now. I have no need for those food growers in that building anymore. And therefore, no need for that building at all. But I do need some of that material because I want to extend a few things on this building. Might as well do this right now. 
I am going to take down... Oh, inventory is full. Let's go and empty it first. Okay, we'll take that out. And we'll do the same on this one. Take those two out. Deconstruct. Deconstruct. Oh, no. You're kidding me. It pulled up before I had a chance to break it down. All right. In. And quickly deconstruct those two. Right. And then I uh, think nothing in this one because I'm going to need that. And we'll come over here and we'll bring a biodome right there. Awesome. And then I'm going to go inside. As you can see, our biodome is right there looking spiffy. And I'm going to attach a single living compartment. Now, I can't remember if this actually works. Pretty sure it does. I did kind of half test it. But I am going to have to go outside. Do a turn. Does that work without clipping? It does. It's Yes, I did test it before I remember that. Okay, so there we go. Now we can put some other stuff in here as it becomes available. There you go. Base is starting to look a little bit better. Very nice indeed. Okay, I just wanted to have a look at these uh, arms, and they don't tell you the growth rate compared to the others, but, uh, well, it tells me that it's 100% grown, but these also give quite a lot of plants and some insects. They use a fair bit of energy, but still, I think, better than the Tier 2s with the amount of production that they have. But that means, yeah, we'll just have a, a row of beans, a row of eggplants, and so on. Or uncommons. So yeah, that's that's the beginning of our of our farming exploits. We haven't looked at this for a while. Maybe I should have put it somewhere more visible. But uh, we are we obviously have breathable atmosphere. As you can see, there's a little infinity sign by the oxygen at the bottom left. But we are 21.52 towards fish. And that means we actually need this water life collector, which is uh, coming eventually. But in the meantime, let me hop in the water and show you something. Look at this. Look at the underwater scenery in this, giving me vibes of another game, especially this lot. I have to look around and make sure that I have a piece of metal to throw out. Anyway, this, yeah, this, this looks really cool. And as you progress, uh, so little fish will appear as well that you didn't put in. I do need to get under here and support this structure a little bit more, but yeah, we're looking all right. We're looking good. So yeah, I will break this down between episodes. I think I need to build another one of these because... We have now started getting nitrogen. So with breathable atmosphere, nitrogen was born. Not sure there's anything that needs nitrogen right now, but I do need another container for nitrogen. I will grab some iron. And there's our nitrogen container, and we can just slap those in there. I think there's one in here. Yep, I'll swap those out. And that is that. We have a nice uh, collection of circuit boards. I want to get a whole lot more than that because we are going to need them. And I think I'll just pop upstairs and grab something to eat. And I do need to refill lockers because I don't have any food in them. So let me go and pick the veggies in the dark. That wasn't bad. Got five beans out of that. And picked up four honey. Let's get back inside. Beans in there. Honey in there. And food will be produced. Good. And then I have to shoot out to the super alloy cave and go and clean things out there i'm pretty sure that i've got a couple of rods all right what have we got in here uh let's get rid of the the junk i'm gonna keep the iron and silicon because i think i'm gonna be using i need to start putting up handrails so yeah silicon yep silicon a lot of it all right let's see how many rods do we have we got two good i can live with that aluminium we're still okay on just a quick stop into the sulfur area. We do have sulfur. Boy, we got a lot of iron. All right, well, I was going to go and get some osmium, but I don't think I got space. Ah, well, it doesn't hurt to go and have a look. Yeah, we got some. I suppose I could leave a little bit of something behind. I just need... I'll oh, leave one of each, and then we can take that. All right, now, I need to... This, this has already been... This is already at Mark II. So what I need to do is bring a platform, which maybe I can do right now. Can I snap it in? Um, yep, but it's on the wrong side. Yeah, I'll put it over on this side. And then we can see if we can get miners attached to this. 
and then sort of get a few of them in because we're going to need quite a few to to create the rods but this platform will hold the actually auto crafter i've got all this stuff on me so um if they're going to go in that direction then i can put it over here and set this to make there you go and just like that osmium rods are being produced well they will be eventually i'm gonna have to clean this out first all right i've got a bit of stuff let's head back to base uh, i'm going to put up some handrails start making our place look a little bit better i have the extra silicon on me so no point in treading it and it just so happens i've got enough stuff on me to make another auto crafter yep that goes in there still not entirely sure what i'm going to do here uh maybe the uh pulsars yeah could do or the rocket engines okay handrails they call them fencing i'll call them handrails now you can just by rolling your wheel you can move small increments if you want to move 90 hold down control and turn there you go and then control to put down i'll put a few on this side there we go looks a bit more formal and then i'll i think i've used up all the silicon good oh, there's going to be quite a lot more of that and i'm going to need to put some lighting in here as well because this place really looks dark at night oh man this pressure is way too slow but we are within eight gti of uh, the drone stations that's awesome and while i have it in my mind i'm going to put another gas extractor down I've got all the stuff together. It uses three super alloys, two zeolites, and an iridium rod, and I'll just put it down. Now, eventually, we'll get to the Mark IIs where you can specify which one you want, either oxygen, methane, or nitrogen. Right now, it's getting what it wants to. So, yeah, we just take what we can get. Now, I need to do a couple of extensions. Uh, this is going to be extended. I haven't decided how far yet, but obviously I'm going to have to put internal walls in as well. And then we're going to go up top because there needs to be an extension over here. But we also need a, another large one over here. So we could get that sorted out. Got the big one queued up. Snap it in there. There we go. And then I might as well just finish these corner bits that I want to put in. So that goes there. And... This one will be right there. And that means that I can make that a little patio. There'll be a little patio here. I might put a door here. I didn't have a door there the last time. But I might. I don't know. It may not be necessary. This is a nice little viewing spot. We can maybe just put a put a chair out here for people to sit on and look out the window. You know, our bioscientists. And then I also have to come out this way a little bit more. I don't know. Do I really need to? Probably not. So then I may just close this one up. There we go. The base is starting to take on a better shape than it had before. I still need a whole bunch of windows and good stuff all over the place. And uh, I need to decide how this is all going to work. I think my sleeping quarters are going to be down here. So I'm not sure if I'm going to extend sleeping quarters of the passage because this is single player. I don't intend making this um, a co-op. So yeah, I can get away with one living quarters over here. And that'll be inside. So I don't need to extend it out. So I could maybe bring the farms one further up. So the next row will be in front. Maybe. I'll think about it. And it is starting to take shape and look a lot better. I really should also break down these veggie tubes. They are contributing basically nothing. And they are using up potential trees, actually. Um, you can make trees out of the... The golden flower seeds uh they i think i think they give a 400 percent multiplier but the recipe is not shown in the dna manipulator so i'm gonna have to figure that one out now if we go upstairs to the bio area this is where all the production's happening and i'm thinking probably in this area i'm gonna need the internal walls but in this area maybe the kitchen probably the kitchen definitely the kitchen yes and then I may just go out a little bit more on these two. Yeah, speaking of that, I think I really want to push the pressure a bit more. It's going far too slowly. I think maybe... How many rockets do I have up for pressure? 
six. Hmm. Well, I've got everything together. I'm putting up three more pressure rockets. Let's give that a little bit of a boost. Okay, what's coming? Just a dust storm? Just a dust storm. Well, we're going to change that. I love messing with these rockets. There you go. It's a three and one. And they're coming back. All right, cool. Well, they've added to the total and uh, they'll eventually despawn, hey? And uh, yeah, that's given us a little bit of an extra boost. Oh, something you don't see every day. So there's going to be a whole heap of storms coming through now. Yeah, lots of iridium falling and uh, I don't need any of it, really. And I believe this is the first of three storms. Yep. I'm going to skip past this and avoid the noise. Nice. Well, there we go. We've got uh, smatterings of iridium lying all over the place. And I've added some windows to the base. I've also closed off some areas with walls. So that's closed. It's also closed upstairs where I did add-ons. And then I've made this little passage that'll go down to my personal quarters. And chances are I'll have a door out here as another exit when I have the uh, platforms out. So that is where we are at the moment. Everything's looking pretty neat. Everything's looking pretty good. I realized that I forgot one chest and that would be the fusion cell chest when we eventually get there. Honestly, I could do a couple now, but I'd rather save those pulsars because uh, I want the power and uh, whatever else I might need. So where are we with power? We've got 73 kilowatts available, so yeah, not very much. That means probably another fusion generator, like now. Okay, we're at 60. We are close. 62.5. So yeah, that's, that's looking strong. All right, so I'm going to go out. I'm going to put another fusion generator out. Yeah, and that should secure us with power for, for at least a while. We're going to have to do more, and we will find energy fuses eventually, I hope. If not, we'll buy some. But I think, yeah, that's that's a good progress for this episode. Uh, we, we did check out a wreck over at the waterfall. There's still a lot to, to explore there. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to go back until I can afford some fusion cells, but I might need to make some fusion cells in order to be able to get the stuff there to, so I can afford to. Anyway, so yeah, added windows, made the base a little bit better, uh, improved the mining operations, added osmium rods, so all in all, pretty good. We have farms. That's probably the biggest takeaway from this episode. And then, of course, the, the extra gas extractors because we've got nitrogen. So if you like this video, give us a like. If you want to see more, subscribe, hit the bell icon for notifications. Leave me your comments. I appreciate the help. Every little bit of support helps the channel a heck of a lot, and I totally appreciate it. So thank you for joining me. And until next time, cheers.